ABC General Hospital Sporters reveals that Gladdy reached out to Nina to ask her to help Sasha. Gladys had to confess to Nina about everything she had done to Sasha, including the huge debt of Selena. Of course, Gladys wouldn't say much about how she could how she colluded with Montage to harm Sasha. She just mentioned the Mont to Montage was blackmailing her. Only did he let go of Sasha. Gladys was afraid that Sasha would suffer, so she went to Nina to ask for help. Nina also loves Sasha very much, so she agrees to help Gladys. If the Montage wants the money, Nina will grant his request. And of course, Montage will have to let go of Sasha. Nina will also help Gladys repay Selena, but on one condition. Nina will tell Sunny about what Gladys confessed to her. Sunny needs to know these things because it has to do with Selena as well. Gladys is really worried if Nina tells Sunny these things. Surely Sonny will be furious that Gladys had caused so much trouble. He might even discover that it was Gladys who made Sasha the mess she is today. Gladys wanted to pay for Selena's debt, so she put Sasha in a mental hospital. Meanwhile, Carly will come to Diane who has been named poor Charles' best lawyer. No case has ever bettered Diane, and this time Carly wants to, Diane to help her get Drew out of Pentonville. Carly never gave up hope of saving Drew. He took all responsibility on himself and accepted three years in prison. After Carly's situation stabilized, she thought of saying Drew first. Pentonville was a very complicated place, and Carly was afraid a little more delay would put Drew in danger. So she immediately contacted attorney Diane. As long as Diane's lawyer accepted Carly can be sure that Drew will be saved. Attorney Diane is very famous and she has never failed a trial. Diane did indeed agree to act as Drew's defense attorney. Now Carly can feel a lot more relieved. Drew's appear, appeal hearing will take place soon. Can everything end well? Will Drew be released from the Pennantville prison that has made him miserable all the time? Elsewhere, Finn was completely devastated when he learned that Gregory was suffering from ALS. As a doctor, Finn is aware of its seriousness. He knew Gregory didn't have much time to left and he regretted not taking care of his father sooner. In the past time, he was too busy with work and personal problems to pay attention to Gregory's change. He suffered from the disease alone and was accidentally discovered by Finn. Otherwise, Gregory had no intention of telling Finn or Chase. Finn knew the truth now, but his heart was heavier. Fortunately, Liz is always by Finn's side and comforts him. Thanks to Liz, Finn calmed down and learned to accept the problem. Gregory doesn't have much time left, so maybe Finn will want to make as many good memories for him as possible. The only thing that made Finn feel guilty was that he had promised Gregory not to talk to Chase about his illness. Finn and Chase are both grocery, gro Gregory's son, so Finn finds out very difficult to do. Chase would surely be furious if Gregory died suddenly. He will also be hurt when Finn knows the truth but deliberately hides it. Then Chase would live in regret for the rest of his life, not being able to spend more time with Gregory.